Welcome to another MLogic video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we will outline how to install and set up your MTape or MRAC unit on a Windows system to do basic drag and drop archives using IBM's LTFS software. This utility is free from IBM. We will show you how to download and install for use with your MTape or MRAC unit. If you plan to use a Thunderbolt 2 M-Tape or M-Rack unit with your Windows system and require a Thunderbolt 2 to Thunderbolt 3 adapter, the StarTech one seen here is the recommended adapter. These can be found at StarTech.com. When you first attach the M-Tape or M-Rack to your Windows system, you will most likely see this message. Select OK, then use the pull-down menu to select Always Connect. First thing we need to do to get the unit connected to Windows is install the Windows driver. You can download this driver from the MLogic website or connect with an MLogic support representative to obtain the driver at support at MLogic.com. Once you have the driver downloaded, let's start the install. From wherever you have the driver saved, double click on it to start the install as seen here. Unzip the drivers, then start the install. Once the install is complete, we can take a look at the Windows Device Manager. Once open, you can scroll to Storage Controllers and spin open to see the Auto Driver is loaded. You can then scroll down to Tape Drives, spin it open and see that the IBM Tape Drive is seen as well. We now need to download and install the IBM Spectrum LTFS software. To obtain this, you can go to the mlogic.com website and select the Help Center, then select mtape MRAC compatible LTFS software for Windows. Scroll down the document to the link to download the software as seen. Once the download is complete, go ahead and start the install. Follow the instructions of the install till complete. Upon completion, you will be asked to restart the system. With my system, I can just snap my fingers and the reboot is complete like so. For your install, you just might have to wait for the reboot to complete. Now that the system is rebooted, let's set up the IBM Spectrum LTFS software. Open up your file explorer and let's navigate to the program files folder. Then to the IBM folder and then to the LTFS folder. Scroll down to the LTFS GUI configure file and double click. This window to configure the tape drive will now open. You can see here the drive is shown displaying the port information and serial number. Click on the pull down menu under drive letter. You need to select a drive letter to assign the LTO device to. In this tutorial, I will select M for M-Tape, then select OK. You can go back to File Explorer and see that there is a device with the drive letter we selected. We can now start to work with the device to archive. Insert a tape into the unit. If the tape already has a format on it, it should mount for you and you can start to navigate the tape. If it is not formatted, you can right-click on the device and select Format. A format window will open letting you know the tape will be erased and formatted. Click on OK to continue. You will then be asked to enter a six-digit serial number and a tape volume name. Once complete, select OK. This format will take some time to format, so I will speed this up for this tutorial. Once complete, select OK. You can now go back to File Explorer and open up the device like any storage device and drag and drop files into it for your archive.
Once the archive starts, you will see a progress bar showing status. This will take a little time to complete, so I will speed this up. After completion, you can see that you can navigate the tape just like any storage device. When you are done with the archive, it is always good to do a proper eject so the tape gets rewound and the index gets properly written to tape. To do this, go back to the device, right click on it, and then select eject. This will eject the tape and your archive is now complete. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click the subscribe button below to get more information on MLogic video tutorials.